Welcome to Galileo Story Corner. I'm Kristen, a camp director with Camp Galileo Anywhere, and I would love to introduce my co-host, Feathersby, the magical rubber chicken. Say hello, Feathersby. <laughs> well, Feathersby, you're absolutely right. Today, we're talking about being reflective. And we have a really great book to read that really is about being reflective. And I can't wait to read it all with you. But before we get started, Feathersby wanted to tell you what being reflective means. Did you all get that? <laughs> Great. Well, Feathersby, how about you introduce the mindset? I'll introduce the book. So today we're reading Willow. And Willow is by Denise Brennan Nelson and Rosemary Brennan, and it's illustrated by Sid Moore. Let's get started. Even on the sunniest day, Miss Hawthorne's art room was cold and dark. Everything was in its place. There wasn't a single broken crayon in the bunch. The students sat in their rows, silent and still, like eggs in a carton. Except for Willow. Rosy-cheeked Willow twisted around in her seat to look out the window. Face forward, young lady! Miss Hawthorne's icy blue eyes glared at Willow. Willow shivered. Miss Hawthorne's moods were as dark as her clothing. One day in September, Miss Hawthorne handed out paper, paintbrushes, and paints. She told her students to make pictures of a tree and hung an example on the board. All the students painted trees with straight brown trunks and round green chops. Everyone except Willow. Who ever heard of a pink tree? Miss Hawthorne asked with a frown. That's what I saw when I closed my eyes, said Willow. A few students giggled. Sam snorted, pink stinks. The next week, Willow carried her well-loved art book to school. In it was a picture of a flamingo pink tree painted by a famous artist. Look, Willow pointed, giving Miss Hawthorne her most magical smile. Miss Hawthorne glanced at the picture, then turned away with a scowl. Horrid little girl, she muttered as Willow skipped off. In October, Miss Hawthorne passed out paper, paintbrushes, and paints. She told her students to make pictures of an apple tree and hung an example on the board. All the students painted trees with straight brown trunks, round green tops, and red apples. Everyone, except Willow. Miss Hawthorne pointed, pointed with a long, bony finger. Look at this mess you've made! And there's no such thing as a blue apple. But that's what I saw when I closed my eyes, said Willow. Some of the students giggled. Sam laughed especially hard. <laughs> yeah, who ever heard of a blue apple? The next week, Willow carried her well-loved art book to school. She showed Miss Hawthorne a picture of a tree with a blue apple. Then she reached into her backpack and took out a blue apple. This is for you, she said, handing it to Miss Hawthorne. Miss Hawthorne's face turned crimson. Horrid little girl, she muttered as Willow skipped off. Autumn flew past. Willow always seemed to be in trouble in Miss Hawthorne's class. Stop daydreaming, Willow. You broke another crayon, Willow? Willow, put that book away. Most of all, Willow got in trouble for not painting things the way Miss Hawthorne wanted her to. The day before winter vacation began, students brought presents for their teachers. No one brought a present for Miss Hawthorne, except Willow. Miss Hawthorne stood at the window watching Willow and the other students board their buses. She wasn't in any hurry to leave. No one was waiting for her at home. Miss Hawthorne walked to her desk. She was surprised to see a gift. No one ever gave her gifts. To Miss Hawthorne, my art teacher from Willow. Miss Hawthorne slowly unwrapped the package. Nestled in a bed of tissue paper was Willow's well-loved art book. Miss Hawthorne sat holding the book for a long time. It was dark outside when she walked to the cabinet where the art supplies were kept locked away. Miss Hawthorne filled her arms with paintbrushes, paints, colored pencils, and a sketch pad and carried them to her desk. She flipped open the sketch pad and stared down at the blank page. Finally, Miss Hawthorne picked up a colored pencil. 
For the first time in her life, Miss Hawthorne doodled. Outside, the wind howled. Trees creaked and strained and broke where they could not bend. Snowflakes swirled upward. The lights flickered off. Miss Hawthorne sat in the darkness. When the lights came back on, Miss Hawthorne's fingers found the wet paint and spread it across the page. The school custodian poked his head into the classroom. He stopped, astonished at what he saw. Across town, Willow stood at her bedroom window, peering at the soft, fat snowflakes through her spyglass. After a while, she climbed into bed and fell asleep, wondering if Miss Hawthorne liked her presence. When the students returned to school in January, everything was the same as always, except the art room. With wide eyes and open mouths, the students stood rooted in the doorway. Willow was the first to step inside. Behind a graceful willow tree covered in paint from head to toe, a woman was painting. Do you know where Miss Hawthorne is? Willow asked. When the woman turned around, the students gasped. Miss Hawthorne? asked Willow. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, Willow, Miss Hawthorne said. Grab the paintbrushes, I need your help. Delighted, the students did as they were asked. This time, everyone painted just the way they wanted. Especially Willow. The end. Wow, I really like that book and I like how Willow helped Miss Hawthorne be reflective. She really, really thought about what it means to be an artist. And she learned that it's okay if you do things a little bit differently. And I think that that's a really important thing to learn. And you can really learn it at any age. You can learn it at the age of Willow. You can learn it as an adult. But it's okay to do things the, your own way. So I encourage you to start being reflective. What can you do that you put a little of your own spin on? So start thinking about that and remember, that being reflective is a skill that you can practice and practice and practice and get better at and I know that you can all do it. So be reflective and maybe make some art as well. I know that's what me and Feathersby are going to do. Feathersby, what are you going to create? Oh, you liked the pink tree? Me too. All right, I'll see you later. Stay innovative and be reflective. Bye.